In this video, I want to discuss why the notes aren't filled in and the title block's not filled in and demonstrate how to correct it. So first, this information comes from the part. I don't manually enter it here in the title block or in the notes. So I want to open my part. To do that, I'm going to get near one of the views and I'm going to right click and I'm going to move up and I'm going to tell it to open that part. So we'll wait a second and the part will now open. This information comes from the file properties as we looked at earlier in chapter three. But this particular part has no properties. So I need to add those. So I can do it one at a time. So for example, if I want the material to show up, I can choose the drop down arrow, select the material, it's text. And over here, I want to say the value is whatever I've set the material to. And we see it's gonna say, okay, the SolidWorks material for this part is 6061 alloy. So I'm gonna say, okay. And I'm going to come up here and rebuild this part. And then I'm going to use control tab to move back to my drawing sheet. And lo and behold, here's our material. So all this information in the notes and in the title block comes from our parts properties. Now I can add these one at a time or I can copy and paste properties from another document. So I'm just going to say start a new inch part. I'll go OK. This part was created in a SOLIDWORKS template, not my template. So now I can go File, Properties, and here's all the properties I really want. So again, I'm going to select one. I'm going to scroll down, hold Shift, select 15, and push Control c on my keyboard to copy those. I'll say OK, and I'll just close this part. I don't need to save it. Now I'm back in this part. Once again, I'm going to go File, Properties, and I'm going to click here to delete it. I'm just going to click here in the cell and push delete on my keyboard. So now I have no properties. So again, I'm going to click there, highlight the cell, and now I'll paste all my properties. So I'm going to say, okay. Once again, I'm going to rebuild. I'll control tab back to my part. And now this is filled in. I have my material, the X for the stock size, the finished none. If I scroll down in on the title block, all the default values I've set up are here, and these are a reminder to fix them. So as I change them, I'll just control tab back to my part. Once again, go to File, Properties. And as I change any property here, it'll fix up in the drawing. So for example, I'm gonna change the description. I'm gonna call this the counter block. And I'll say, okay. I'll rebuild it here, control tab back. This is now changed. So each one of these properties will update as I update my part. So I'm just gonna go back, I'm gonna fit this to the screen. And that's how we properly fill in the notes and the title block for our drawing. 